requested by you guys and that is a uh, DJ Tanner makeup tutorial or DJ Fuller I guess now you would call her that. I did a DJ Tanner like whole get the look thing a couple of years ago, a lot of years ago and it was really bad and poorly made and I don't know how much better this one's gonna be but that one was for DJ Tanner like teen years and this is gonna be adult DJ Tanner Fuller. <laughs> so I found a couple pictures for her that I kind of want to go off of. It's kind of hard to see her eye makeup because Candace Cameron Bure does have hooded eyes, um, but her brows are a bit lower than mine, so I don't really look like her, so this isn't going to be identical. I'm not trying to do like a Candy Johnson kind of thing, just if you want that general makeup look. It's obviously not going to look the same on everyone, but you can kind of catch my drift. One major difference between me and her is that I am pale as a ghost and she is very tan. First off, she is 40, I think, and she looks so much younger than that. I think something that starts that whole process off is moisturizing. She has very plump skin, very full. She doesn't have many wrinkles or anything. So I'm starting off, I already moisturized and everything, but I'm going to use this um, Mario Badescu spray. That's like a holy grail of mine. I would also recommend using a foundation that is more hydrating or dewy. I never really see her going full on matte. I'm going to use the Cosmetic CC cream because it has pretty decent coverage. So I'm going to mix these shades fair and light together because I'm kind of in between. When she was a teenager she definitely went a bit more matte. Now it looks like she just has more of a glow about her and using a little beauty, bl beauty blender. So I obviously have a lot less perfect skin than her, I have a lot of scarring and redness. But if you want a younger, kind of more modern, not modern, but you can always watch her daughter's YouTube channel, I'll leave it below, Natasha. She does a lot of makeup looks that are very natural and glowy, but I'm sure she gets a lot of her inspiration for beauty from her mom. So if you were interested in that, she's a little bit more good at this than I am, but you guys requested it. Okay, now that we have that on, we're gonna go into concealer. One thing I noticed is she definitely highlights under the eyes, not in like a crazy way where like it looks really white on camera, but definitely so that any darkness under the eyes is gone. I'm gonna go in with the um, Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade Light. Just kind of do what you would normally do. There's no need to go for extra coverage than normal just to like match what she's doing. Okay, thank you. Motorcycle, wow. Next I'm gonna go in with brows. Her, na her natural hair is a lot lighter than mine and her brows are a lot thinner than mine so I'm gonna use my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit and normally I use the darkest shade but I'm gonna use the lighter shade and try to just fill them in very lightly. So also her brows are a bit more straight than mine and this front area that I have that's kind of full she does not have that. So I don't want to go overboard with this. I'm not gonna go in too much with the front just whatever is left over on the brush. And then to keep them in place I'm gonna use boy brow but I'm gonna use clear instead of brown this time and that kind of helps them get a bit more straight. I kind of went straighter than I normally would make my arch a bit more pronounced. Now I've noticed in videos that she got her makeup done in that she uses a lot of cream products and I think it's clear you can see that when you look at her in the picture I have on my phone. She is very dewy, not shiny, just dewy and you can tell she's using cream products, at least I can. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with cream contour. She was saying in um, something that I watched that she loves using foundation but she thinks a lot of people forget that when you put foundation all over your face it kind of flattens you out and you need to put that dimension back in with contour and highlight. I'm gonna use this through Jordana Sculpt and Go creamy contour stick. It's a very gray tone, so I am going to warm up later with some bronzer. I'm going to go right into the brush this way, and I'm going to just do a tiny bit of contouring. Her face is a bit rounder than mine, so I don't need really as much contour. So you can see I don't even have highlight on. You can already see there's like a shininess on my skin because of the dewiness and because it's freaking hot in here and I'm sweating. <laughs> her nose is a bit more turned up in the front than mine so I am, you obviously can skip this step, but I am going to just put a little bit of the contour down here and around this area. I'm obviously not doing that like the way you're supposed to. Now we're going to take Haloscope, Haloscope from Glossier because I think she does like a cream highlight as well and I'm just going to use my finger for that. This is like a nice champagne shade. I don't think she really goes for anything too gold or pinky. I'm just going to tap that on the cheekbones, do like a nice subtle highlight, you'll like this. Cause it really does just look like you're like glowing. Like it doesn't look shimmery, which I don't really like. Now we're gonna go in with bronzer to kind of warm things up a bit. I'm use the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. This is glorious. It's like a perfect bit between warm and cool. And I know that she does like bronzer. Not that she needs it cause she's nice and tan, but we're just gonna kind of bronze 
kind of like where we contoured but just a little bit higher and then i think we're also just going to take a little bit on the nose because she does look like naturally tan she doesn't just look bronzed if that makes sense on to uh blush which she loves she always loves more blush 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 she definitely has some nice rosy cheeks and usually she, i feel like she goes for a peachy pink or a neutral color she never does, does anything crazy on her cheeks but i know she does like blush she mentioned it in a video i watched i did my research for this i'm taking the milani blush in romantic rose it's a bit more neutral than what she goes for but because i'm so pale a more peachy color isn't gonna look as good on me so I'm gonna go in with this you could go in with a cream blush as well and she always like I said goes crazy with the blush and um, I think I'm kind of on that same lines I think that you really can never have too much blush and she doesn't do like the really far back blush she really keeps it on the apples of the cheek I think that's one of the other things that makes her look so young because blush when you pull it too far back I think can look very aging so I am gonna take a very small setting brush like a very tiny one with the color pop um, no filter sheer pressed powder and I'm just gonna tap that really lightly like right around this area where I feel oily so for the eyes I'm gonna start with a primer just because my eyelids are super oily I'm gonna use this one from NYX because she does have hooded eyes you can see she has eyeliner or black eyeliner or something but you can't actually see her lids but from what I have seen when she's like, closed her eyes and what I've studied is that she has more of a mauve taupe kind of shade so we're gonna bring it back to old-school YouTube with the naked two I'm gonna take the shade Tease, which is this one right here. It's like a matte grayish purple, a taupe, if you will. I'm gonna take that in the crease and really buff it out because we don't wanna bring the shadow up too high. Like I said, since I have all that space and her space up here is pretty much clear. It doesn't even look like she, I mean, she might have a little bit of highlight on it, but it's nothing crazy. So I'm gonna take my finger actually and go into the booty call, which is this kind of peachy pink shimmery shade I think that under the brow which i never do <laughs> because she is glowing there i could have used the haloscope there too i just chose not to to be honest she doesn't look like she has a highlight in the inner corner so i'm gonna skip that step but i am gonna go back in with that same brush i just used and use suspect all over the lid and so the shade it's kind of like the shimmery version of the one i just used and take that all over the lid where i haven't had put anything yet it's shimmery but it's not like highlighty she definitely has black liner on now i don't use eyeliner it just creases on me it gets up and transfers and melts and it's awful so i'm personally just not going to do that if you like eyeliner you could use a pencil you could use a gel you can use liquid whatever she does not have a wing but she does have pretty thick liner under her upper lash line so what i'm going to do is take black out the black matte shade in this palette with an angled eyeliner brush and go in just on my lash line. i'm going to push it in kind of wedge it in i feel like sometimes her look is a bit more soft and smoky other times it is more like bam black line but i feel like it depends what look you're going for of hers so choose what you will and you can already like look at that difference between those two eyes it's insanity now she goes crazy with the mascara not crazy just she wears a lot of mascara but in the show I definitely think she has false lashes on I might be wrong but it's Netflix so you know I could be right I'm gonna curl my lashes just because my lashes suck and we're gonna go in with mascara just use your favorite I'm gonna be using this one I this is my first time using this in a hundred years so it could look awful on me just so you know but it's the Maybelline full and soft it's very old-fashioned traditional mascara but you know all mascara is just so different for everyone well it's not building a ton but you know what are you gonna do and she does have a touch on the lower lash line oh my god i'm so pale this looks so dark on my face so last but not least is lips her lips are always glossy or shiny not matte whatsoever she does not do the matte lip thing but we're gonna go in with a lipstick and this is the revlon cream lipstick in bare affair it's a bit more grayish than what she goes for but i have a lip gloss for on top And then we're gonna go on top of that with another Revlon product it is the Plumping Lip Cream in the shade Nude Honey. I think her lips are definitely a little bit more pink than peach, what I just did. But that is pretty much the completed look. If you like it, then please give this video a thumbs up. I really hope this is kind of what you guys were looking for when you requested this video. I know that I'm not a professional in any way, shape, or form. I'm not even that great at makeup. But I really hope that you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to see more from me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!